Let's take a look at a case where momentum is conserved in two dimensions. We have a uh, piece of dry ice on a horizontal floor, and I've placed an explosive in the middle, and there are three little cracks here, and so when the uh, firecracker blows up, the pieces go flying off in three different directions. And let's say that we're given um, a coordinate system, and we'll have a normal one here, plus x to the right, plus y up. But again, remember this is on a horizontal surface. And the masses of the pieces are given, 2 kilograms for the one going in the plus y direction, then 3 kilograms and 4 kilograms for the biggest piece. And we measured the velocity of the 2 kilogram piece to be 3 meters per second, all in the positive y. And the 3 kilogram is 2 meters per second, 40 degrees uh, clockwise from the plus x axis. And so the question is, what is the speed, the magnitude of the velocity, and direction of the 4 kilogram piece? And so to answer this, we use conservation of momentum. But we do it in the x direction and the y direction separately. And so in the x direction, the initial momentum equals the final. The explosion is an internal force, and since this is a piece of dry ice, we can neglect external forces from friction, and so the momentum is not changing. And the initial momentum is zero. It's not going anywhere. Uh, if the puck was already sliding at some speed in some direction, then we would have some initial momentum and we could solve this. And the final momentum, we have the uh, two kilogram piece has no X momentum. So it doesn't show up here. Uh, the uh, three kilogram piece has some positive X momentum. It's in the fourth quadrant. And so it has positive X momentum. And it's the mass times the component of its X velocity, which would be two meters per second times cosine of 40. And so that's where the cosine of 40 comes from. And then the unknown piece, uh, we're pretty darn sure it's going in the third quadrant here. But let's assume we don't know, and so we guess its momentum to be positive. And then when we solve for the unknown Vx, so its momentum is mass times its x velocity. When we solve for the unknown x velocity, we get that it's negative. And so I recommend you do it this way. If you've made a minus sign here, your answer would come out positive, saying, yes, you're right, it was negative. And so if you can make sense out of that, do it that way. I prefer to guess it to be positive and let the minus sign come out with the solution. So let's take a look at the y momentum. And the initial y equals the final y. And the initial y is also 0. And the 2 kilogram piece is all in the plus y direction. And as a matter of fact, maybe we even oriented our coordinate system so that one of the pieces was all going in one of the directions. Uh, so that can make the problem a little easier. And so it's got positive momentum of 2 kilograms times 3 meters per second. And then once again, we have the um, 3 kilogram piece. It's got a negative y component to its momentum. So that's its mass times 2 sine 40 degrees. It would be the opposite side here that's... Um, responsible for the momentum. And then once again, we have the unknown 4 kilogram mass times this unknown y velocity, which I guess to be positive. And then the answer comes out negative, saying yes, uh, it is in the third quadrant here. And so now we have the y and the x velocities. We need to get the magnitude and direction. And so the magnitude is just the square root of the sum of the squares. And we get it's going 1.3 meters per second. And then to get the direction, inverse tangent of the y over the x. But that comes out to 26 degrees. Now that would be this angle here. But oftentimes you need to report the angle measured counterclockwise from the plus x axis. So be careful here. I have a negative y component, a negative x. Those cancel out in your calculator. And so what we do is a quadrant check. Because they're both negative, I know theta's in the third quadrant. If I add 180 degrees to theta, then it's 206 here. And so a picture will help you 
make sense out of this a lot better than just doing it with equations. And so if you typed in 26 degrees, say, to your WebAssign problem, you would get it wrong. Uh, 206 counterclockwise from the plus x axis. If you want to practice this one, what if instead they told you that this guy was 1.3 and this was 26 degrees here uh, south of west, what would be the speed and direction of the three kilogram piece? And so you know the answer. See if you can work through starting from the beginning and come up with that one. Good luck.